Lee, just remind us of your statement. Uh, this is Louise, and we once modelled as a happy, carefree couple for a caravan <laughs> brochure. When did this happen? This happened in the late 80s. Pre your enormous celebrity. Don't mock. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, sorry. Pre your moderate celebrity. <laughs> Correct. OK, so why you? <laughs> because they wanted uh, to say that caravans were for younger people than had traditionally been buying caravans. OK, why didn't they get a model? What are you trying to say, Dave? Someone just who is straight... more conventionally attractive than you. <laughs> because you weren't available. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, that's the it's way to true. get you killing with kindness. <laughs> <laughs> so, OK, what was the brand of caravan you were advertising? There wasn't a brand, it was, it was a man that sold caravans. Oh, for a, a so dealership? A dealership, What yeah. was the name of the dealership? I think it was called Brown's. Brown's Caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be... I think he used to call it Brown Caravans, but then he realised <laughs> that's confusing, because they only come in white. <laughs> <laughs> so he added the S. Where were the caravans when you were photographed in and around them? What part of the country? Where were they parked? In the showroom? Was it on, you know, with a nice holiday setting with a view of the sea? Or it was, was in it... a showroom and on a nice holiday setting with a view of the sea. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, and it was in Tenby, South Wales. What were you doing in Tenby? I'm not going through it a again. A photo <laughs> 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 so, so you travelled... <laughs> <laughs> you travelled with Brown's caravans, organised the transport to Tenby? I was already living there. I was a holiday host at the caravan site for the right. people on holiday. OK. And the showroom man who sold caravans said, would you take part in the photo shoot with one of our sales assistants? Because it was fairly, you know, it was caravans. It wasn't yachts. <laughs> was that the slogan? <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember any of the poses that you had to strike? Oh, yeah. Could you recreate <laughs> them for us? Yes. Um, can I use Louise in this? No, you cannot. Oh. Well, it's going to look like one of us is making more effort to sell the caravan. <laughs> there was a various poses. I remember this one. They said, can you just make it sort of look like you're not being photographed? And obviously I'm a good actor, so I just sort of went... <laughs> 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 What else did they ask of you? Uh, they said, pretend you're cooking but having fun. So I did that, but then I sort of go... <laughs> <laughs> what about putting it up? Put it up? You're thinking of a tent, this is a caravan. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm thinking outside a nice caravan, there'll be an awning. Well, sorry if this gets too technical, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ages. Sorry about this, but you did ask me. <laughs> and what about the bedroom? I haven't finished yet. <laughs> I'm locking it in place. Put down the safety poles. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> OK. Did you have any...? <laughs> Raining now, innit? Your <laughs> <laughs> fault, Did you...? Did... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> did they want you to do anything in the bedroom? Yes. They wanted to suggest... Get your caravan, have a bit of romance in it. So what was the pose you struck that summed that up for them? Um, we, lay on, we lay on the bed like this, uh, and you've got to imagine... Um, <laughs> what's her name again? Louise. Uh, Louise. <laughs> you've got to imagine... Well, it was just a one-night stand, wasn't it, Louise? <laughs> she said, how do you want us to do it? And they said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, do you want to sort of post? You know, like... <laughs> After the event, shall we oh, say. I see. So I tried that at first. <laughs> <laughs> then they said, maybe you look like you're just, you're just cuddling up. But it's nice, so I sort of went like that. And I may, I may have draped a leg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then they said, um, they said, what about a spoon? And so we did a little spoon at one point like that. <laughs> you can't spoon, can you? What do you do with the right arm? I've never known. <laughs> what do you do with the right arm when you're spooning? Possible, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, so they got a one-armed man in for that shot, and then, uh, <laughs> and then... <laughs> All right. 
we need an answer. So, is Louise Shazia's bruised bride, Steve's frightened friend, or Lee's caravanning companion? <laughs> I mean, they all sound really, really bad. If you know, <laughs> <laughs> if any one of them is your friend, get some new friends. <laughs> oh wow! I'm slowly starting to believe the story with the phone. The phone. Yeah. I, I can definitely believe that story. But I actually quite believe Steve as well. Steve? I do. Oh, I, I wow. think Steve's plausible. I think that's the sort I of. I do like a couple of. Oh, so you believe the caravan story? Yeah. So do you think they're all true? <laughs> <laughs> I believe them all. <laughs> I think the the pose of death that Steve struck, I think, is very much his sense of humour. Yeah. He did one pose and you believe him. I did about seven. <laughs> I do not believe any of them. Yeah, but that yeah. was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> if you had to decide, I would go for Lee's story. You'd go for Lee's. Yeah. You think it's Shazia? Yes. I think it's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have to just go with what I think. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. OK, we'll go Steve. Right. Louise, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Louise, and I thought I'd discovered Steve's corpse. <laughs> Yes, Louise is Steve's frightened friend. Thank you very much, Louise. 